Okay, I'm here with James, who's the stylist. He's going to give us a rundown on why he's here and why he picked these guys to do some work for him. Um, I'm doing a hair show tonight. Um, I'm incorporating the tattooed guys into it because I think that the tattoo scene is getting more and more accepted in the culture of the world today. And that's pretty much what I'm putting across. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm here with Chris, I'm going to ask him some questions about his tattoos. So which one's your favourite that you've got? Um, no, they're all my favourite. Give us some sort of history on why you've got all these uh, people. Well, pretty much trying to get 13, because 13 a bad number. And 13 your lucky number? Could be, we'll see, see what happens. Okay, so now we've come across Harley, who's going to show us some of his tats. It's Harley. Alright man, where'd you get all your tats done? Um, everyone's had a crack really, man. Um, a lot of this was done um, up the coast by an older dude. His name's Chris Chady, but um, yeah, everyone's had a bit of a go. Man. Where's the most painful tattoo that you've oh, got? Oh, dude, definitely lower stomach. That shit's like that. Brass man. knuckles, yeah. you got to like that, man. Oh. So how'd they rope you into being able to do this? Oh, a whole bunch of us went, uh, well, got called up. Uh, word of mouth, got a, a few guys with tattoos. Um, wanted some guys to get some photographs with some of the girls. Yeah. And it went from there, and then it, three months down the track, it, we're here. You excited? Uh, excited, apprehensive. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, just, that's it, mate, yeah. Hey, we're here with Fox, we just ran into him as well. We're just seeing some of the tats he's got. He's got all around his neck, his ears, and we'll give you a look at those. So, which one of these cars are the cars that you've actually had? The GT. The T Bucket as well. Gotta say, T Bucket's one of my favourite cars. Good car, man. The tattoo on my shoulder. Um, I married my ex in Vegas, and to celebrate, we got matching tattoos. So, what do you do when during corporate work? Well, um, I'm a, a training manager, so um, to be honest with you, corporate work, a lot of my corporate friends don't even know that I have tattoos, but the one thing that I love about tattoos is I choose who I want to see them. So we're here with BJ, is another one of the people working for Delirium. He's going to give us a bit of a brief on some of his tats. I got my uh, back piece done at uh, Steel Lotus in uh, I got this uh, dragon done in Newcastle at uh, Tribal Edge. I got uh, one piece on my right arm, that was from my uncle, he, uh, he passed away in 94, so I've got that uh, sort of respect for him. Uh, I've got this one done in uh, Thailand, but it's a pretty fucked up job. Uh, Is that with the bamboo? No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't bamboo, uh, but I got it done in a, um, in a little village in Thailand, in Phuket, and uh, I was laying on a lounge room floor. It took three hours and I, I had to stop because uh, it got that irritated and I couldn't, I couldn't uh, do any more work on it. But um, my plans are for this one is to cover the whole piece up with a samurai because the, the job, is, if you can see the sort of lines, that's meant to be a claw. It's a pretty fucked it's up job. Wave. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty terrible. Uh, Don't get tattoos in Thailand on a, on a lounge room floor. That's yeah, the moral good, of the story. Good idea, good idea.